Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here we're going to do the oracle card spread. And then in the extended, there's a full, very articulated, quasi-personal tarot card spread, including a romantic reading. Okay. This is all about you, but the next two minutes are kind of sort of all about me. So if you want to skip forward, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Born Without Boundaries, welcome to it. This is my channel. And these are energy readings, these are not horoscopes. So they are appropriate for wherever Libra energy influences your chart, you can apply these themes. If it don't fit, don't squeeze it. We is not trying to break the wheel. Now, um, I am trying to grow my channel. And so I would very much appreciate your help. Uh, there are no timestamps. On these readings anymore I used to put I you not timestamps I used to put dates on them and then I realized that people kind of watch them and find them when they're supposed to so there is no more dates um, though I do mark when they've been recorded I upload these videos every week so if you want to get these messages from me every week subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you get notified as soon as I upload them and you'll get them week by week by week now, Libra, we're going to get right into your energy. Um, honestly, I, the, the whole, this whole day, I've been thinking about you guys. And every time I think about you guys, there is this romantic feeling. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying new love. I'm saying romantic as in romance. That heightened sensibility to the world, that optimistic heightening, that feeling of glow or happiness or um, idealism that's sort of swarming around. Now, that could be your crowning energy. That could just be the mode that you're in right now. Um, we're going to get into that and see. But I have been feeling that all about you. Just saying, Libra. First card out is your crowning energy. And yes, I will turn, I will turn the camera around so that you can see the cards. Sweet results await. Happiness, success, the payback or the payback or the consequences of a bunch of hard work and good decisions, the payoff, the honey, the sweetness. Now this is a card that represents Leo to me. It has a very sun rising energy, like shining. Remember that glow that I was talking about, that feeling of happiness and abundance. Libra, what I want to point out to you about this card is that honey does not just descend from the heavens. It is something the bee works very hard at. So honey is a result of a lot of hard work. So when this card shows up, number seven, which is the energy of creation, you have been applying yourself and working hard. And that could be why you are feeling so good and so confident because you have not let the distractions of the rest of the world bring you down. The needs and wants and desires of others, which is so distracting to Libras. You have not let it distract you. You have stayed focused and worked very hard. Could be on anything. Could be on a relationship, could be in work itself, a project, whatever it is. This is the prosperity that comes from and the happiness and warmth that comes from working your butt off. You are currently extremely, you are currently hard at work at something that you really believe in, that you need that has something to do, that has everything to do with your family, providing for your tribe, um, everything to do with who you are, Libra. Let it shine. 
but it's in reverse. So you're digging deep. This is scorpionic energy. This is the energy of something like you're feeling like you aren't being heard, feeling like your voice is not coming out correctly. Um, this could be you being affected, impacted by the retrograde. But it's also to me in accompanying with sweet results away, it's saying don't say anything. If you're in a situation where you see what other people can't see, don't say anything. Don't open your mouth because 10 to 1, they're not going to listen to you. And it's only going to make you bad and they're only going to try to bury you. It's like pointing out something that somebody doesn't want to be seen. But you see it, don't say it. Because you won't be listened to. And you almost, you almost know that. And that's why I'm not getting a sense of um, anger or frustration as much as I am almost relief of taking yourself out of the circumstance or situation. Or maybe just continuing to collect information before you say anything, before you mention anything to anybody and draw some attention to a certain circumstance. You're trying to collect the facts and maybe put together a case. That could be as well, right? But right now, you know, is not the time to make the move and announce something. You just keep working on, working, working in your workshop, hard at work, Libra, keep doing, doing what you're doing and focusing on you. And maybe you just don't want to tell anybody right now. No one needs to know. Love is all around, but once again, it's upside down. This is Gemini energy. Um, and it, this card has been coming out almost all retrograde. It's been coming out backwards. So there is a sense of sort of, um, well, it goes right along really well with this, a sense of, Not, I was going to say not being appreciated. Not having your worth recognized. And yet I still feel this sense of peace, not peace, but like almost happiness inside of you. This could be somebody from your past coming back. But it's pathetic. Is that, and I'm not trying to say that in a bad way, in a mean way. It is, it's almost sad. This is like, why hold on to something that's gone? And I don't feel like this energy is coming from you. You could have been getting a lot of calls from past lovers, Libra. A lot of people who just won't let the, the, the dead horse die. This is also, no, 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 I don't feel it. I don't feel like this is not you not letting a love die. But it is, it could very well be you in a relationship or in a circumstance where you know people, people are not hearing what you're saying. They're not listening to what you're saying and they're definitely not showing love towards your contributions. And here we have this card, be loyal to what you love. Be loyal to what you love, be loyal to who you love, and forget all the rest of the chaos because this is ain't, this ain't, this has got nothing to do with you. And that's what I that's why I feel that there's a confidence in you right now, Libra. Looking around and knowing that this has got nothing to do with me. Normally I'd be all caught up in this, but for some reason the fact that they shut the doors on me it was actually life-saving. Because they shut me out of the stupidest conversation on earth. And I don't need to be in it. You know what I need to be in? I need to be hanging out with my dog. I need to be focusing on what really loves me, what really cares about me, what's loyal to me unconditionally. And that may be a really few crew, but I got them and I'm gonna pay attention to them. All this other chaos is outside of you. It's a real contradiction to what actually matters to you right now? There's a, what I'm trying to say is there's a tremendous sense of focus that you have right now that is unique. That is something that is not necessarily, doesn't necessarily come easy to you. But there is a tremendous sense of focus and self-appreciation. This is Leo energy, which is, 
believing in who you are, having the courage to believe in yourself, having the courage to believe in, in your insights or your skill set, having confidence in who you are without needing the, you know, the peanut gallery to be there validating your existence because they're not right now. You see that people just are, are kind of ignoring you. Kind of like turning their back on you. It's also two two birds, which is air. Um, this is energy of heaviness, like thickness. The way that you could normally communicate is not possible right now. It's a different kind of communication. And you're right because it's a psychic communication during Pisces season. Take a leap of faith. This is your central energy and this is your crowning energy. I knew this was going to be a good week for you. Libra, this is good luck. Stop thinking about it because thoughts are crowded and crazy, right? You're going to like literally be blessed. Good fortune is coming to you. It's also Jiminy Cricket, your conscious. Trusting in your conscious instead of your ego. Listening to what it has to say. Instead of believing the backwash from everybody else. There is fortune here, hidden for just you, for only people that could see it. And the only way you're going to see it is to be committed unconditionally. Hmm. I don't even feel, I don't even feel like the cards want to speak that much. To be honest with you, when it comes to you guys, there's a sense of, I don't want to hear. It's like, it's almost like you've intentionally closed everybody out. And like, you've actually somehow immersed yourself in water to get away from all the craziness. Because right now the communication is muted anyway. And you're actually enjoying it. Because too much gets into you. I don't think you guys realize just how psychic you are, Libra. And too much is constantly bombarding you. And you're actually enjoying the buffer that is that muted. It's a, this is a muted time in Pisces season. Things are muted. Things are like feeling like you're underwater. Hearing things underwater. You're like, what? Wah, 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 wah. That's what this is. That's what this energy is. Wah, 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 wah. Like irritating and annoying and and they're not going to listen to you anyway so don't listen to them you're happy it's like you're just you're actually vacationing in this piscean flood good take some space it's the best thing that you could do for yourself slow and steady wins the race this is the energy of six plus two which is eight destiny is on your door but it's taken a while to get to you guess what Immersing yourself in the water is going to bring it right to your doorstep. This is also mature energy, almost like King of Cups energy for me. So what does that mean? That means, you know, how the King of Cups kind of sits there like looking at people from the side. It's not because he's shady. It's because he has self-respect. Unlike a lot of other water, like water energy and cups, like just giving ish away. That's not what the King of Cups does. You have to... Be worthy to approach him. He doesn't just trust anyone because he's matured and he's grown and he's he's grown a shell. But this is a this is a an appropriate shell. It's a healthy shell. It's not a health shell that he hides in. It's just part of who he is to protect, to to validate his value and show the world that he is not welcoming any everybody in. But remember the story of the turtle and the hare. The turtle did not run this race to win the race. He ran the race because he was excited about the race. And he eventually won the race. Why? Because he focused on the race. The hare lost the race because all the hare was focused on was the turtle. Making fun of him, tearing him down, underestimating him. How are you going to win a race if you're just focused on the competition? This is not about the competition. It's about the race. And something about you knows that. 
Butterfly transformation. A, jumping in, diving in. The time is now, the time is here. This is the best kind of energy for you to have as an air sign because what it means is you have transformed yourself. You know what it felt like to be stuck on a branch crawling on your belly. And now you don't have to do it anymore. What this is telling me is a major breakthrough that's taken a while is coming at you. Some potential, some people like, like it, in other words, in ways that you have been turned down and rejected time and time again, you finally found somebody who sees your value, is absolutely interested and really believes in you. Not just interested, they really believe in you. Now, what you're being told to do is take a leap of faith. This is an individual. When dog energy shows up, it is usually an individual. Somebody that you absolutely can trust. Take your time, you know, review, review, review the specifications. Know your worth. This is compromised sense of self-esteem. So what this tells me, especially toward the end of the reading is that there will be a little bit, you, you have been put through the ringer. That somehow your self-esteem has been compromised. You have tried in many ways to fit in and to make yourself into something that other people wanted you to be. And now you're kind of done with that. You're just like, here's my stink world. Smell it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, perfume myself to make it easier on you. You know, it's your it's hashtag. This is me moment, but you may feel humbled and even humiliated in the presence of this new opportunity is almost like for the first time ever, you don't want to be seen because you've been so compromised in the past of people not listening to you and shutting the door on you. And they're like, if there's anything that you're stuck on, you're stuck on the memory of that. So when something real comes your way, now you don't know. Now you're not, now you're not, um, now you don't know how to trust. So this is the challenge this week is to find, that's why you'd have to take a leap of faith. It's like, if you just believed what you feel and what you know about your experiences in your life, it would be too compromised. You wouldn't believe this good thing was about to happen to you. Let's get your grounding energy. Libra. Nice. Truth transcends illusion. Don't worry about it. You guys, there's a little bit of fate and destiny. No, there's fate and destiny all over this reading, especially with this card. This is Aquarian energy. And it's also finding your wings. If you have not been fitting in or have been rejected and People have been turning, you know, a cold shoulder to you. It's because this is not the group that you belong in. And maybe you've been like acting like their dog and just being like, you know, praising these, these people or this, this work or whatever it is, whatever your social situation is, you know, acting like their dog, not requiring anything from them, including respect for yourself. Maybe having too much faith in people that did not deserve it. And now, guess what? You, you don't care about them. You, you, you're not trying to fit in anymore. And in that decision is a liberation and a freedom that grows you wings. It's like having wings. That will take you, but it's not just you that's growing the wings. It's also the opportunities for you that have popped out. It's like getting yourself away from these fake people. All of a sudden now, you are the truth and you've popped out. And now the right people can see you. It also is truth coming out about why people talk about you like that. Or why people have been trying to bring you down. There's some sort of illusion that was happening here. And now the illusion is going away. There's, you see the full moon behind this? The, the image of the full moon behind the dragonfly? 
So you're releasing your old self and becoming your new self. There's a big release of something that was hidden, of hidden, hidden energy or hidden knowledge. And this is in your grounding energy. So this is part of what helps to set you free. A truth coming out, something being revealed that was concealed from you. Which probably made, kept you feeling compromised. Kept you feeling like you had to continue to try to be somebody that you weren't. Could also be you are done trying to be somebody that you're not. That's the illusion that's over with. That's the concealment that's done. This is the coming out as your true self. Libra energy grounding. Learn from the past. Also, the number seven, so 25 is two plus five, seven, creation. You've been recreating yourself. You've taken, those, taken the experiences and the lessons from the past, and you have put them brick by brick and built a new uh, fortress for yourself. You've taken what you understand and what you've learned, and you have used it to basically plow your way through. This is information coming. This is the past. Trying to haunt you, trying to hold on to you, trying to keep you down. What you're doing is using it as a review. You're seeing these people maybe from the past try to come back into your life. Or even maybe these goals that you had in the past. And if you've messed up in the past, you're learning from those mistakes. You're figuring it out and you're learning how to make new decisions. Something that happened in the past that really sort of held you back is coming into clarity over the next couple of days. And it's information that you actually needed to move forward. Yeah. Okay. This card is staring at me. I can't mistake it. Here, you're coming to the surface. This is usually uh, diving in deep, but when it's in reverse, it's, it's coming up. It's breaching. Something is coming to the surface that was denied you in the past. There is, there, it, it's, it's coming out. It's, it's being revealed, and it's going to give you that puzzle piece that you needed that was missing, that was holding you back and holding you stuck. Um, time for a deep dive. Once again, this is energy of coming to the surface. There's no, the, the depths have risen. It's risen from the depths. It's coming, it's coming up. And that's your grounding energy. All of this, this truth that's, that's coming out, this information that's finally coming to you and that maybe has been trying to get to you for a while. And this is your energy too. All kinds of reversed and upside down, but that means that you're not acting like your normal self. But once again, it's freeing you. It's liberating you by not acting like your normal self. Because so many times this is like, this would be your very romantic energy of focusing on connection and focusing on partnership. You're not focusing on partnership right now. You're focusing on singularity. And that's what's actually liberating you. Mm. Give me a second. I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can review the cards with me. I almost felt like this was too far away. But do you see how all this grounding energy has come? And the grounding energy is energy of something coming to the surface. Something that was hidden or tried to stay hidden is now being revealed. I think that you thought that you were forgotten about and left behind. I think that you really did believe just there was a lot of rejections or a sense of naysaying when it came to what you said or what you thought. Like somebody wasn't believing you or at the very least they weren't listening to you. There was constant rejections. But if you stayed true to that purpose and continued to have faith and stick with whatever it was that you were tempted to give up on, 
You're about to see a major turnaround in its reaction to you. Crowning your energy is your hard work and your faith is centering you. And what is grounding you is now the validation that's coming up. That's got nothing to do with you. Shit, like, like thing is, it's, I'm sorry about that train whistle. Um, all of it's coming to the surface. Trust the great mystery. No, the mystery is being revealed. The truth is coming out. Truth transcends illusion. Learn from the past. It could even be that you finally, like, basically the truth came out when you dug deep and you went underground and you basically saw the truth that it's been buried there the whole time in like different, different hints or pieces that you could finally reconstruct from what you've learned over time. Now you finally see what needs to be seen. It's like your hard work piecing all of it together to like solve, like clue by clue, solve a mystery. It's like now you're liberated. Like you, you know, one of those escape rooms. Have you guys ever done those escape rooms? Like putting the pieces together and finally you got out. The truth, the truth shall set you free. But it's these little pieces and little hints from the past that have helped you realize it. Let's get that 3D translation over here. I'm going to move over to the extended. If you guys want to join me, I hope you do. That link is in the comment section and in the description box below. I'm going to pull out and extrapolate more details about what's up and do your romance reading. So I will see you guys over there, Libra.